Now we will talk about the Pythagorean theorem. This is one of the most famous formulas in all of mathematics, and it shows up everywhere. It shows up here in algebra class and in geometry. It will show up in trigonometry and in calculus. And it's a very famous theorem, and it's one of the oldest theorems. It uh, was discovered by Pythagoras around 500 BC. And here's a picture of Pythagoras. This is him right here in the middle. But it was also discovered by other people. There's evidence that it was discovered even earlier, perhaps, by uh, mathematicians in India, and also independently discovered in China. And there's evidence that it may have been discovered in England even thousands of years before Pythagoras. But here's the statement of the theorem. And this theorem applies to right triangles. So let's draw a triangle, and let's indicate that it's a, a right triangle. And the common way to indicate that is with a little square down there. And let's label the sides. The length of this side over here we'll call A, and the length of this side down here we'll call B. So A and B, those, those are variables. Those are numbers, but they refer to the lengths of the sides. And C is the hypotenuse. So C is a number, and um, it's how long the hypotenuse is. And the Pythagorean theorem says that for any right triangle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if you take this length and you square it, and you take that length and square it, and add those up, you get the length of the hypotenuse squared, if it's a right triangle. And that's it. We'll do, um, we'll do a couple of quick examples here, and then I will prove the theorem for you. Okay, here's um, one of the, the most common examples. Suppose you have a triangle, a right triangle, like this, and this is side of length 3, and this is length 4, and you're told to find the hypotenuse, which we'll call C. So this is the information that you're given. You're given the 3 there and the 4 there, and you're given the fact that it's a right angle. You want to find the hypotenuse. Well, the theorem says that C squared has to equal A squared plus B squared. So let's put in these numbers. We'll call one of these A and one of these B. So C squared is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared. And we can work that out. Three, that should be C squared right there. C squared is 3 squared plus 4 squared. And 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. And we add those up and we get 25. So C squared is 25. So to find the length of side C, we just take the square root of each side. So C ends up being 5. And I'll write that up there. And this is a pretty common right triangle. This is a very simple right triangle. These lengths 3, 4, and 5 go together to form a right triangle. Now the converse of the Pythagorean theorem is also true. And this is what I mean by the converse. The theorem says that if it's a right triangle then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The converse of the theorem says that if you have a triangle and a squared plus b squared is c squared, then it is a right triangle. So in other words, the theorem says that if you're given that it's a right triangle, you know this formula will, will be true. You know that equation will, will be correct. The converse of the theorem says that if this equation is correct, then it's a right triangle. So let's, let's look at an example that goes that way. Let's look at this triangle. Let's suppose we have a right triangle, or, or let's suppose we have a triangle, and we have sides of length 5, 12, and 13. And we're wondering, is it a right triangle? Is this triangle a right triangle? Well, let's use these numbers. Let's take 5 squared plus 12 squared and see if that equals 13 squared. So let's work that out. So I'm going to write 5 squared plus 12 squared, and I'm going to say, is that equal to 13 squared? Well, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, and the question is, does that add up to 13 squared? And 13 squared is 169. And over here on the left, the 25 plus 44 does in fact add up to 169. 
so we know that this is a right triangle. Let's do another example like that. Suppose we had a triangle that was a 4, 7, and 8. So let's draw this. Suppose this side is length 4, this is length 7, and this is length 8. And we're asked, is this a right triangle? Is this a right triangle? Well, the, the way to answer that is to say 4 squared plus 7 squared, is that equal to 8 squared? And this is easy to do. 4 squared is 16. 7 squared is 49. So we say, is that equal to 8 squared? Well, 8 squared is uh, 64. So what's 16 plus 49? 16 plus 49 comes out to be 65 and that's not equal to 64. So this is not a right triangle. Okay, so that's your introduction to the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is c squared. It applies to any right triangle.